Hey Days fans, it's Friday, October 8th, and I'm Cece, and I'll be recapping Thursday's episode of Days of Our Lives, and what a day it was in Salem. There was um, a lot happened, I think, that could be a great turning point for a lot of the storylines that we've been watching, and uh, Gus, you know, finally figures out that uh, he's not just hearing Vivian in his head, that he's actually... Uh, hearing her through the device, and he communicates with her a little bit, and um, I really thought that that was it, and he was going to go save her, but no, he uh, listens to her whine a little bit, and then he kind of puts her in her place and tells her, you know, I'm sorry that you're uncomfortable, but um, this is kind of what you deserve. So uh, Vivian's all on her own, and, and who knows what will happen to her. Uh, with Brady and Nicole, now Nicole's moving into the Kiriakis, uh mansion, and she will be with Brady, and I don't think she cares the circumstances or why, but she's uh, with Brady, and I think that's all she cares about. And, um, you know, Victor seemed concerned, but Brady seemed to tell him that it was all under control, and he was um, in control of everything, and using Nicole, so to speak, and I think that made it okay with um, Victor that this is what was happening, and he took Brady's word that, you know, it was going to all work out and be okay, which, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I think both Brady and Nicole are are where they want to be and and where they need to be, and Nicole, I've just got to say, has the best wardrobe, I think, on days. She is always, she's got the greatest clothes, but anyway, um, I love her character. I wasn't always a fan of Nicole, but I like her character, and I'd like to see where her and Brady kind of take themselves with this whole um, using each other thing, but um, anyway, Victor, you know, of course, after leaving Brady, runs right to Maggie and, you know, of course wants her advice and I think anything to talk to Maggie. And I kind of think Maggie is um, willing to give him advice as long as he's willing to come talk to her too. So I guess we'll see where they go because I, I think they're they're kind of smitten with each other and as much as Maggie fights it and resists it, I think she kind of enjoys it and uh, doesn't mind returning it right back to Victor, but, you know, then there's the Dan Lowy. Oh my goodness. Someone needs to put that horse down. <laughs> it's uh, Daniel, you know, talking to Philip and, and about his relationship with Chloe and Philip telling Daniel whatever will please him. It, it kind of gets old, but, you know, and then Philip runs right to Chloe, and they start discussing their little rendezvous, and, and uh, you know, for two people that seem like they want their affair hidden so badly, they do talk about it an awful lot, and it's just got to come to an end, and, you know, Stephanie's trying to keep her relationship safe, and she walks in after Melanie's big, um, oh my word, she really gave it to Nathan today. She let him know that, you know, he hurt her and him keeping this secret about Chloe and I think Nathan felt really bad and they both just tried so hard to fight their feelings and, and hide them and they really, um, they were so passionate, it was really the best part of the day was their encounter and, you know, Melanie telling him, you know, how she felt and, um, you know, she brought up about the baby and, and or Nathan brought up about the baby and, and Melanie questions, you know, if it's even Daniel's and, you know, I think that was kind of a, and I think we'll, she'll start to, the wheels will start to spin and and she will uh, start to 
question it even more, and, and we'll see what happens there. But I liked her telling Nathan he didn't have a spine, and after Melanie came and um, wasn't, or not Melanie, Stephanie came and wasn't so nice to Melanie, you know, and she, she called her, you know, a, a bitch, and, and after Melanie stormed out, you know, she said, she called me a bitch, and Nathan said, at least you have a spine, and um, anyway, I kind of thought that was funny, because I think it really hurt Nathan to hear Melanie um, ridicule him and, and pretty much say he was spineless and did the wrong things, and I think Nathan will spend an awful lot of time now trying to make it right with Melanie, and uh, which will push Stephanie over the edge, I think, and and uh, he will hopefully rekindle their relationship by trying to make it right. And I think the perfect ending to the episode was seeing Chloe getting ready for her wedding day and hearing a loud knock at the door, and she opens the door, so sweet, now yeah, Melanie, and she's greeted with a smack across the face. So. It should be a, a fun um, lead into Friday's episode, and we'll hopefully put this the whole Chloe, Philip, Daniel thing to uh, to an end, and and see where it goes from there. So Friday's episode should be good, and we should really be getting some uh, good storylines now. But enjoy, and uh, remember the couple that stays together stays together.